on South Logan Drive in Beaver Creek. It's tucked in here. There's hardly anyone around. It's so quiet. Um, you can hear the crickets at dawn and at dusk. That's just fine by Bailey Court on most days. It could have gotten bad. Just not August 4th. I was just hoping somebody would come by. Around 3 in the afternoon, Bailey was out clearing weeds from this blackberry hedge. Suddenly, she lost her balance. And I just did a slow-mo fall, and by the time I was like halfway, I turned around, thankfully, and landed on my back. Wrapped in thorns and completely stuck. Try as she might, she couldn't get up. Even if I did 40 sit-ups a day, I don't think I could have done it. A half hour passed. Bailey, a diabetic, could feel her blood sugar dropping. She was weak, lightheaded, and afraid of losing consciousness. And if I were down here and that happened, it may be weeks before somebody found my little carcass. So I heard a truck coming down the hill. It was UPS driver Steve Atkinson. As I'm passing, I realized well, she's way too far in there to just be picking berries. And he came by and he kind of glanced. Basically slammed on my brakes <laughs> to, to hop out and uh, see if she was okay. Backed up and he said, do you need some help? <laughs> he said, yeah. Steve, who spent 17 years delivering packages, delivered Bailey from the blackberries. Yeah, I was just glad that I'd be able to, to help her out. Steve did a wonderful thing, so I just wanted him to be recognized for that. We reached out to UPS and shared what Stephen had done. They told us we're really proud of our employees for their ability to deliver, especially when it matters most. There's a lot of reasons to end up on the news. I'll take this. <laughs> In Beaver Creek, Catherine Cook, KGW News.